Sulfur is a yellow non-metallic element that was known to ancient people as brimstone. You have probably seen the word mentioned in some religious text. In this lesson, you will learn about the history, elemental properties, and occurrence of sulfur. The origin of the practical uses of sulfur can be traced to the Egyptians as early as 1600 BC. The Egyptians used a compound of sulfur known as sulfur 4 oxide for bleaching cotton. Sulfur was also used for making fireworks around 500 BC in China. Now let's look at some of the elemental properties of sulfur. Sulfur has an atomic number of 16 and a relative atomic mass of 32. It is located in group 6 or 16 and period 3 of the periodic table as shown here. Sulfur has the electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4, and it is found in the p block of the periodic table. Like oxygen, which is the first element in group 6, sulfur has six valence electrons in its outermost shell and requires two electrons to complete its outermost shell. Before we conclude this lesson, let's discuss briefly the occurrence of sulfur. Unlike some elements which can only be found naturally in their combined states, sulfur can be found naturally in both its elemental and combined form. For example, elemental sulfur can be found in volcanic regions around the world. In fact, in countries like Japan and Indonesia, sulfur is mined from volcanic deposits. It is also known that sulfur constitutes about 0.1% of the Earth's crust. In its combined state, sulfur occurs naturally in mineral deposits like pyrite, which contains iron sulfide and gypsum salt. Here is a summary of what we have discussed so far. Sulfur is a non-metallic element known to ancient people. It is located in group 6, period 3, and the p-block of the periodic table. Sulfur can be found naturally in its elemental form. Sulfur occurs naturally in many mineral deposits. So there you have it, an introduction to sulfur. There will be a lot more in subsequent lessons. Hope to see you then.